faster turnaround this week? How much does that change uh, the preparations? Uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, we've gone from an eight day prep to a six day and so, you know, clearly it's a, it's a week that we'll, we'll um, do probably a lot more thinking and, and uh, sort of clarity type planning early in the week and then, and then ramp it up near the end. But, um, you know, plenty of excitement in the camp and can't wait to get down to London. This being the last test of the North Tour, does that change kind of the feeling coming into the week? Is there a bit of extra excitement? Yeah, I think there is. You know, I think it's... Um, uh, you know, like there's a there's a nice build up to this test. You know, playing at Twickenham is always was always a special occasion, and you know, particularly in the way we've come through yesterday's game was a tough test, and and to come away th through it with the win that we got is just means that we're sort of in a in a great position going and going down there to play, and no injuries, you know, and so whilst we've got a lot of very sore bodies, it's get the recovery right, there'll be plenty of enthusiasm and, we, and you know, to be fair, we can't wait for it, so. Sam mentioned discipline yesterday, is something that you guys would like to focus on? How do you look to the week here? Yeah, well discipline's a big word, isn't it? And, and sometimes it's, um, you know, I just think we, I'd probably put it down to just lack a bit of accuracy at key times and, you know, and I think a lot of that was over enthusiasm, you know, like we were desperate to try to stop the momentum that Scotland were getting and and just sort of rushed at a few things, so whether it be at an offside or a decision making around the breakdown or whatever. So um, it, it came from a good space, you know, with it was the guys really working hard to, to, to wrestle back the momentum in that test. But again, if you're not accurate, it, it hurts you. So um, we certainly got frustrated at scrum time. And, but then once we, we got on top of that and sorted that out, I think we saw the, probably the correct pitch is starting to emerge. But um, good problem solving. There was a bit of frustration on the park from, I guess, the players and, and, and Sam about the, the scrums. Was that an officiating thing, or was it just a not reacting to the, the, the rulings? Uh, yep. Um, look, we, we, um, we back our scrum. We think our scrum's going really well at the moment. I think the work that Fiki's doing there has been great, and we felt that we had the upper hand in that space. And um, but we've just got to make sure that we work with with the officials to make sure we're, we're giving them the pitches that they want to see. I know you were asked about it last night, but any, anything further on Scott Barrett? He claimed to have sort of been punched on the park. Has there been any? Update or change no, no, there was no. The, I don't, we, we don't. We haven't seen any video evidence of a punch. So um, a lot of things happen. The bottom of a ruck, so maybe a shoulder, but there was no clear cut evidence of that. <coughs> Certainly, something hit his head. Though. And he's alright this morning with that. Um, he obviously had a bit of blood. Like yeah, I haven't seen him, but I think he's been out for a stroll with Sammy Whitelock up a hill and seemed to come through all right. I haven't seen him, but. Um, no, no, I mean, I haven't got the medical report, but like I said last night, I think we came through scot-free. How do you like that? That's pretty good. So. <laughs>